Oh, who okay, stop. Ah, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to comment. <laughs> yeah, that ended, that ended poorly. <laughs> Welcome back to People Playground. Today, we're gonna make Bob over here suffer a little bit more because I've downloaded some mods that will make the experience better. I have downloaded something called... Well, I don't really know what it's called, but it's essentially a voice pack. So Bob over here will make sounds if I stab him in the feet with a knife. Yeah, you hear that? Oh, that's so lovely. He'll just keep on screaming forever and ever for as long as he's in pain. So I'm just gonna give him some health back and see if he stops screaming. Okay. He was overjoyed, I guess. Uh, Yeah, he was, he was going crazy. That is not something I want to hear. So what happens if we were to combine the sounds with appropriate facial expressions? Now this Bob over here will make faces if we... Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, that was kind of fun. Yeah, so okay, okay, that's really cool. He's more interactive now. So he will make faces and make sounds when stuff happens to him. So let's just, uh, you know what? Let's tickle his feet for a little bit. Let's just, let's just do this. Oh. Um, nothing's happening to you, Bob. There you go. Yeah, you see, he's crying. It's actually lining up with the um, with the emotions that he's showing. So, right, we've tried a bunch of these things, but why don't we give him a good old whack with the power hammer? Okay, so that might have been a bit of an overkill because. There's no Bob remaining. I've also downloaded these guys. These are fishes. And these lovely looking fishes should be living in water, which is why they're dead over here. I put them in this container because I thought that this would make a funny intro with them jumping around. But if we put some healthy fishes in here, you see they jump around for a little bit until they inevitably die because they can't breathe. You see, just like that. Ah, oh, lovely. This might not look like much, but this is a wind machine. I don't know how it works. So we're just gonna press a button and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. Change force wind, 0 0.5. Let's do 70. I don't know how much that is. Yeah, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of wind, holy crap. Oh my God. Yep, there's things flying all over the place. That's a Bob's head that is burning. Yes, shut up. I'm just moving you. I'm so sorry. I'm allergic. To, I'm allergic to screaming people. God dang it. Now you might be thinking to yourselves, what have you done? Well, I've essentially added some walls so that Bob over here to the right will not be able to escape the forces of the wind. And I want to see what happens when we ramp up the wind a little bit. So, all right, let's just start off with the basic 0.5 is being pushed against the wall. That's pretty cool. Okay, disable shake. We don't want any shake. There you go. Okay, so let's do two. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he's being pushed against the wall. Okay, what if we, um, what if we do 10? 10 could possibly be a little bit overkill, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay, stop. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm wondering what will happen if we put a few more bobs uh, against the wind machine. And when I say a few more, I mean a butt ton more. And that's not all. We're gonna send them flying into brick walls. One of the walls is broken, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now bobs should be lighter than bricks. So let's just enable and see what happens. Let the screaming begin. Yeah, okay, there's not a lot of screaming when there's just piles of bobs smashing into a wall. I love that. Shut up, I just spawned you. Stop screaming. Did he kill himself? No, nope, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to put you on the wind machine and then goodbye. <laughs> That's so great. I'm wondering, can I make them go through glass planes? So I've lined up Bob to a bunch of glass planes and we're going to enable this and see what the hell happens. But first, let's change the wind. 109, 10. And here we go. So that did not go 
according to plan at all. So I've also downloaded something else, namely a shopping cart. Look at this, Bob is all ready to just go and have a blast. I don't even know how this thing works. I'm just gonna enable it and see what happens. Um, that was, I was kind of hoping it would go a little bit quicker than this. It's kind of slow. You know what? I think one mini thruster will be just enough to send Bob flying. Oh, for crying out loud. Work, will you? All right, so a couple of adjustments later, and now he has a thruster attached to him, and we're just gonna follow him and see what happens. Just like this. Activate the thruster. Goodbye, Bob. He's not even screaming. He's just staying completely. Look at the speed he's going in a shopping cart. This is not gonna end well. There it is. <laughs> and he's burning up because he touched the burning hot thruster. 10 out of 10, Bob. 10 out of 10. So this got me thinking. This guy over here is actually a part of the reactive humans. So he should be able to react to other humans. Now combined with the expression mod and the sound thing, he should be a, a pretty lively fellow. So let's just see if he can fight the yellow one and if they make any sounds. Fight, 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 fight. Okay, right, needs to be the red one. Here we go. All right, they're fighting. No. They're not make. They're making sounds. You just you just killed each other, did you? Stop crying. Why are you crying? Yeah. Okay. I think these guys are dead. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Oh, uh, you know what? I I can only do you a solid. I just need to make sure that you just stay dead. Ah, nothing like the smell of blood in the morning. Right, we've arrived at a water level. Now I need to try out the fishes that I downloaded. So I want to see if I can turn these fishes into killer fishes, you know? I want to see if I can make the fishes eat Bob. So let's just spawn a couple of these bad boys. There you go. They're all happy in the water. You know, they're contained within the aquarium that I set up for them. And one just jumped out. So this might not be the safest place. It's fine though. Okay, so now we're just gonna pull Bob in there and see what happens. Eat him, eat him, feed on him. Yes, yes, feed on him. <laughs> well, they're not actually, they're not actually feeding. And now Bob's crying. Great, this is not really, this is not really working out at all. I need to see if I can modify the fishes at all. Welcome to fish experiments. Let's see if we can make the fishes eat Bob. So we're gonna make him, well, we're gonna make the fish not die first. So we're gonna give him a life syringe. This should make it so that the fish can't die. There you go, the fish alive. Hello, fish. Okay. Well, what if I um, what if I give him a uh, zombie syringe? Sure. What could possibly go wrong? There you go. Zombies. Zombie. Fish. I think the fish is so dead that it doesn't really work on it. I th I think the fish is just not even gonna regeneration syringe. That, if anything, should save the fish. The fish is not being saved. Okay. And they have yet to feed on Bob. You know what? I'm gonna try it on the fishes here. So let's take the healing syringe, put it in this fish. There you go. I don't think the fish died. Bob's dead though. So the fishes have definitely done something. I don't know what though, but they've done something. Okay, super strength to the fish. Here we go. God damn it, didn't work. Super strength to Bob. Is Bob still alive? Is he able to come back from it? Okay, what if we give him a health syringe? Heals nearly anything. Oh, Bob is back. Welcome back. Okay, super strength syringe to Bob. <laughs> There you go. Now, now Bob is super powerful, so he will never die. Well, not if I can say anything about it though. I just figured out a way to make the biggest waves. A hundred ton weight. Now we get to the parts that you all have been waiting for. It is time for me to check out some of the creations that I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Now, if you guys want to see your stupid crap being featured or whatever, then uh, let me know in the comments and I might check it out. But for now, we're going to check out this, which is called Gallows. I think it's Bob being um, hang, hung, I, I don't even know. So I'm just gonna, you know, you all know by now that there's only one way to press buttons and that is to use the handy dandy, this never gets old, never gets old. So let's just zoom out a bit here and let's see what happens to Bob when we press the button. I was kind of hoping something else would happen, you know, but it, it doesn't really, 
Nothing really happens, you know? This is this is kind of it. Oh, 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 there's a lever here. Oh, can we mess with the lever? I think we can. Wait, what? Oh, the lever, you're supposed to use the lever to press the button. Oh, I see how it is. Uh, but Bob doesn't really die though. Like he doesn't really touch the spikes at the, at, at the behind there. So I think we need a small controlled explosive to make sure the cable snaps and Bob falls down. That's it. So we're gonna spawn a sticky grenade. There you go. All right, so now we have a grenade here. Let's just do that. I think we snapped Bob's head. Here we have another level that I have no clue what does, but we're gonna put Bob in the chair here because it looks like we need to have somebody sitting over here. Oops, okay. Yes, just sit there and be quiet. And let's press this button. <gasps> Wait, that's right, handy dandy hand. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, he's shower showering in poison. Oh, 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 I love this. Oh, he's rotten. Yeah, scream. Scream. He's not screaming anymore because he's don't he doesn't have any lungs. So I've downloaded something called a drop pod, and as soon as I spawn this, it should drop down safely. Oh, I'll be damned. What it even opens? Oh, we need to try this with a live human. And the only proper way to do it with a human is to drop him from a moderate height. And when, when I say moderate height, I mean as high as it can physically go. That little pixel over there? Yeah, that's Bob. So uh, let's just release him and see what happens. We're gonna follow this all the way to the end. Here we go, okay, full speed. Oh, Bob is not really sitting in it anymore. Oh, we're having some speed. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, he's crying. I don't even know what to comment. Uh, uh, yeah, that ended, that ended poorly. <laughs> and this level is called, well, just simply cock and ball torture. So if he could stop screaming, that would be great. Uh, but in CC won't do that. I'll just enable this and see what happens. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is the stuff. Woo! Oh, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. And that's a really intriguing way of using like one of these levers to control an AK. I like that. What happens if we drop one over here? The button does nothing. Oh, it electrocutes. Okay. Love this level. And last but not least, this is primitive as hell. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even know what button I should press. So we're just going to press this. Nothing's happening. Looks really cool, but nothing's happening. What is this? Oh. Yeah, stop, stop laughing. You, that, it doesn't suit you. What is this? Why is there a laser here? The laser does nothing. Hello, would you mind doing something? Yeah, that was me ripping his skull off. <sighs> but as per usual, the only proper way to end a wacky video is with a nice big explosion. I was gonna ignite this thing right next to the previous corpse, but I decided why not do it to multiple people. Goodbye, guys. Ah, oh, I'm 